Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to configure Video Y plugin for Vimeo. So, after you have installed and activated the plugin, you will see the Video Y tab in the WP Admin LMS settings. So, when we go to the Video Y tab, you will see a few settings. So the most important setting is the Vimeo client identifier and the Vimeo client secret. So for this we need to generate these credentials from the Vimeo.com website. So for this we will go to the developer.vimeo.com and make sure you are logged in to Vimeo. And when we open this page we, we see this interface. Here you need to click on my apps and you can simply create a new app and fill in the app name, description, URL, logo URL and the callback URLs. So note that the callback URL must match the site TLD. So for this video we have the themes.vibethemes.com slash WPLMS skins demo 9. So this is the site. Uh, callback URL which we need to put in here app callback URLs and then we can simply create the app so for this demo I have already created an app so which is this so next is we need to go to the authentication area and here we need to copy the client identifier and then paste the client identifier here then we need to copy the client secrets and paste it here and then we need to save the settings so once the settings are saved we need to authorize you'll see a button in the video vibe settings authorize this site to use Vimeo and we click on this button and here it says that the redirect URL seems to be misconfigured so let's go back and Let's enter the full URL in the details so we can edit the settings and we can add a new URL callback URL which is the which is the full URL here and we can simply add it and save it and now if we click again on this authorize and you can see that we get to the authorize page in Vimeo and we just have to allow this site and check the permissions right so once the, the Vimeo site has authorized our site for uploading and editing videos we can simply see that we have everything is ready and if we reload the page we see a regenerate token button so this is only required when you want to reauthorize the site just to avoid the misuse of the token so we recommend you to do this frequently so now if we go to the courses and edit any course in the add media section you now see that we have a Vimeo library option and when we go to this Vimeo library option we see that we have the albums and the upload option for upload we can select any album and we can directly drag and drop files here and to load album we can simply click on load and the videos in the album are loaded to embed any video in the content we can simply click on embed so note that the same thing happens on the front end so if we edit any course and expand the full description and in the add media settings you will see that we have the Vimeo library which functions exactly the same as it is functioning in the admin panel so now you can simply upload and embed the Vimeo videos so to embed the Vimeo video anywhere in the content simply select and embed and you can see that we have the WPLMS Vimeo video file and if we update and view you see that we have the Vimeo video appearing here that's it from WPLMS tutorials thanks for watching